little son that made this hoop that I brought here today, my good brother Randolph Bill. They asked us and told us and Woodrow Bill as spiritual people of the Yakima Nation, what does this mean? What they said was so profound that they didn't put it on page 16, they put it on the front page of the Seattle Times. They said this means that the races and nations of the earth should slow down and come together and talk to each other. That's exactly what it meant. And we had four years and four days to do that. Four years and four days later, Mount St. Howard saw off a second time. That was last spring, just about this time. That was our grace period. We could have still done something really good, but now things are going to speed up. Now things are going to really happen fast. Time is going to go so fast. The more we share the message, the more we will cushion the third shaking of the earth, and the easier it will be on ourselves and others. A good friend of mine in Montana, his grandmother just passed away last year. The last thing she said to him <clears throat> was make a place for yourself in the mountains because the air would become so hot down here where they were at on the reservation that it would be hard to breathe. And it won't be long. That's the last thing she told her grandson when she was passing. Go on the mountains and make a place for yourself. Put some things there that you can survive with. The people are going to run to the mountains to survive, and the native people must be ready for this. And I know Eugene is going to speak, and I'm only going to speak a little bit longer. He said something that profoundly affected me several years ago at the last gathering about how important it is for native people to get ready because it's not going to be long, and they're going to turn to native people, and they're going to turn to the local spiritual assemblies. I know there's a lot of local spiritual assemblies that don't meet and they think, well, we don't really have that much business, and, but it's not going to be long. The earth is going to turn to you. Blackout, I believe, foresaw this, and then he said there will be a hoop of many hoops that will circle the world. So this is that time. We are now within the purification of all things. Non-natives call this the apocalypse. The native elders call this the purification. I want to share one non-native prophecy with you. There was a prophet, or a seer, not a prophet, but a seer in Europe, his name was Nostradamus. I'm sure many of you have heard of him. He foresaw three great shakings of the earth. He said the third shaking would begin when Lesser Arabia and Persia engaged in a war. Five years ago, when Mount St. Helens went off, Iraq attacked Iran. Lesser Arabia today is called Iraq, Persia is called Iran. These two prophecies coincide. Both the native elders of Nostradamus said this would start slowly, almost unnoticed by the peoples of the earth, but it would eventually involve us all. Eventually the gores of ashes will fall from the sky so much that the river that runs through the center of this turtle island, the Mississippi River, will boil from the heat of the gores of ashes that will fall on this land. But don't despair, it sounds terrible, but we, we will survive it. We will live through it. There's, I don't think anyone chosen to live through it, but some people will. So, in closing, I would like to call on each and every person, regardless of who you are, young or old, native or non-native, to arise now and to awake, to embrace this time, to learn everything you can about the teachings and the writings, to arise and awake and go forth, all the peoples of the earth. You're going to find them. Peoples everywhere are now receptive to the message. This year is a year when that is really going to start, I believe, myself. Arise and awake. That's a phrase from the Dhammapada of Buddha. It is time to arise and awake, and go forth and teach walk the road. We call it the good red road, the road that runs north to south. The things that be lost from south to north that come back from north to south. There's people out there waiting to hear, waiting to hear.
without skills or training many have become victims of now indian